all Five the number of fans of EVOS Lens because field. you saw the Smash stadium. Them. A lot of them came in with all full swag. Deployed. Full swag of jerseys, full swag. headbands, uh, what else? Flags, Jackets, drops. flags, drops, you name it, they have it. I'm not too sure. Like, what do they not have? But RQ, I'm pretty sure $400,000, they can equip themselves even with more merchandise. Even more <laughs> swag to bring it to the next one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited to see how this game plays out as Aura is going to be on the bot side by himself. Masha getting impressed on the top side. They're going to be A-OK -okay for now. But so far, a lot of respect going to both sides because I kind of expected RRQ to try and make a play. And uh, oh, no! Oh, wow. Liam stole away the buff! Well, call the police because we got a team right here. And here comes lots of flicker coming into oh, the table. He for oh my what? gosh, he took retribution. He stole oh, it with a dirty. retribution. Okay, that is dirty. I mean, who would have thought? Like, well, definitely Liam don't really need that flicker anyways because that tank will not be uh, heavily focused as compared to the rest of these units. But huge defense system going on for Evo Legends as we try to protect of that side and they lose out on the Rebo Crab as well. That is very rich uh Croc in this game. <laughs> wait, wait, what's going on here? Who's the real carry this time round? Is it Grok or is it Lemon? I can't figure it out. But so far RRQ are slowly getting ahead, but the next upcoming wars, they have to be very, very scared of this Grok. That power nature has a high base damage, and not to mention with retribution as well, he's not gonna be able to be locked out. He can kind of just walk in and be like, yoink, that's yep. my lord. He's gonna walk, yoink in even more camps Turtle as we see him rotating across and towards the mid lane as well, setting things off as we see RRQ just pulling a lot of triggers right here. And Master's gonna be chasing over onto Wreck early game. Yep, love uh, massage of chemicals. Well, hoping that uh, the members of Evo's Legends could actually respond to this to really get Luminaire. Now on that, Lolita gets knocked up uh -oh. in the air. Liam will not be able to actually commit further than that. Yeah, this is now this is where you know the breaking point has begun. Somebody needs to make something happen. Luminaire gets disarmed. Sin has to pull on backwards, but wait a minute. Right. Guthuru might be in a little bit of trouble. Luckily, he was able to roll out of it with the Death Sonata to the top side of the map as that last insanity kind of misses. Yeah, I would say that there's still more chances intact for both of these guys, but look at Luminaire alongside with Wreck. This is Sin, or is having enough wave clear advantage. Now, back to the drive while we go, Donkey going in for the flicker as well, but that is the ground right First in front of it. First one. one handed over to RRQ. As we see, Liam also getting chunked out, and Lawyer can he uh -oh, run? Uh -oh. That's insanity! One for one. One for one, pretty good. They kill the Grok. Now they don't have to worry about someone jacking away the, the turtle this time around, but they're gonna go back into their lanes. Sid was able to break the top tier one. That's pretty good considering everything that has happened. Now, consider this done as RRQ opens things wide and only the mid lane will be the tier one still standing for Evil's Esports. Evil's Legends, of course, slowly trying to actually scale up in terms of momentum. They still need to farm up, but Sid not really giving them enough time. That's going to be one knockup onto one. Liam don't really have that opportunity for that wall charge. Pretty good play coming in from RRQ, to be honest. They get ahead with that two turret lead in their pocket. Now, even though they did lose one to one, they were trading one to one. That didn't seem too good. Oh no, Juan, he's in quite a bit of damage here. He has to kind of sidestep it. But the AOE is really, really powerful, especially in the early stages of the game. And he doesn't even have items. But Luminaire takes a little bit of hits from the third hit of the Jukundo. The rest of the team kind of peel backwards as RRQ trying to maintain control over this river on the top side. I think they, they want to get this turtle. They definitely could just start it from this point onwards because the rest of the team for Evil Sleds are occupying the bottom side. They are prioritizing on towards that tower instead, so they will lose this one out as RRQ now gets the first turtle. Yeah, they're going to continue to maintain their dominance here as EVOS Legends have shifted their attention from the top side to the bottom side. They want to go for the next turtle, most likely, but Sin is taking quite a bit of damage here. 
Going on the all-in against Aura, but that might not be a good idea. Down to the bot side. They lock down. Donkey does catch. Rangers through the roof. Might be going down. One more hit. Zoom on blast to try and disengage the team. Vin is trying to go into the back line. They get a good kick onto Donkey, but Donkey still has plenty of health. He should be able to make it out of there. Gets chucked out. Ooh, the power of nature doesn't exactly land. Well, great lightning bombs. A great work coming out of the members of RRQ. Now it's another Luminaire. It's just going to be absorbing a little bit of that heat. Same goes to Lemon as well. Of course, for RRQ, still 2-2. Two to two, But in terms of gold, they have definitely uh, had a huge leap after getting so many of all these objectives. They got the Turtle check. Same goes to the two towers, top side and bottom side. Now, what they can possibly do is go in with oh the way no! of Dragon. Going in with a huge shot as well. Donkey makes it out alive as this kind of moves backwards. He was esports, and they are just slowly coming across and towards the mid lane. They know that there's enough pressure coming from the leader. Trying to go for a cast against Luminaire as well. Evil's Legends still hanging on this sort of battle there. Or a fine bloodless axe. I've never seen a game so tense before. Both sides showing a lot of respect. They're not just going ham and trading for the sake of trading. They are calculated. They locked down Vin. Vin shouldn't pose and you couldn't nose on out of there. Donkey it has to try and kind of peel away the wave. Guardian's barrier comes up to kind of put some space in between them, get a little bit of damage down, and the chip continues as Sin scales into the top side. Vin almost getting a little bit of suppression. As we know, Divine Judgment could lock him down, but of course, uh, if they do slide off in time, then too bad for him. Since he's going to be facing off against Aura, that's insanely being utilized, so he will still be pretty much safe. But now, Chang'er, does she have the mirror shower to just stop this way, pushing in RQ on that second attempt on that turn. Ice Queen's one just being purchased by one here. That's going to be a huge buy. And same as Lemon, both of them are trying to get ahead as possible. Donkey. Donkey's in a lot of trouble. He has to get on out of there. The Destinata has to almost get his kill. Whoa. The barrier, he actually lands it in. Now, they're trying to turn this around. RQ get the first initial kill. One takes quite a bit of damage here. Numenor Blast secures them. Another kill. Finn goes down. He flickers into the brush. Aura. He survives. Aura tries to join the fight. Way of the Dragon gets the initial kick. Finn needs to get on out of there. Something needs to die from the side of RQ. RQ, and it's gonna be the Gronk. And the Gronk will fall out the last instead of being popped, but the mid lane has to be crushed out as well. Rex, Rex, and Kion pass that win-win condition. No matter what, it's that sort of 50-50 that they take when they get that 51%. Yeah, this is just whew, a solid game coming into this. Evos Legends, they're playing, biding their time. They're trading one for one. And now the score hasn't really changed too much. Turtle in control of Evos' territory, but this could be really risky. Vin sliding at the back. Trying to actually get a little bit of patches here. Aura does pop his last side, but instead, look at the trade off there. Sin, one Come more shot, and it's a killing screen for the expert. And more fights into as we see RRQ here coming up left. I can't take over on a Liam as well, but can Evos proceed? Oh it's Luminaire can't take kill. it down for a double kill on Jutsuru. Wow, that was a really good Guardian's Barrier there. It kind of blocked off the rest of Evos from going forward. Both Wad and Rek didn't want to loop around to maybe look for a kill because that will put them out of position. They were just out of range, which is kind of unfortunate if I have to say so myself. I would definitely say that's definitely not uh, so fortunate for them at all. Now, heading into its eight minutes and a half in terms of kills, it's really close for both sides. Yeah. But that's one kill being given away in that previous uh, battle right there where Evil's Legends had to just let that Loyota pass by. Well, well, what can they do? I mean, more importantly, the goalie developed by RRQ, we've seen this before. Ooh, Lemon forcing out uh, the black shoes straight away. But <coughs> more importantly, RRQ have secured more objectives, which in fact has given them quite a decent lead over EVOS Legends. And EVOS weren't able to recover the last time from it. So based on that alone, they might be able to catch them off guard. EVOS, hopefully they can come back into this game. Well, uh, definitely uh, going on a little bit of that relapse for a moment. and. As for some of all these players here, we're looking at the Granger here with the Endless Battle, and they are just scaling off the charts. This is going to be Luminaire bringing out the shield, trying to get, go in for a little bit more commitment, a little bit of positioning, not really favoring the side of RRQ. Pretty much a huge split, as we see a little bit of a dancing lord in between. They are still looking to stop it, and Dark Shoes being utilized there by Lemon, but 
Donkey not really fully committing to this, but here comes Aura there, trying to actually chunk down the help. Sin still have another bar to go, and here comes Donkey as well as Luminaire. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're committing to this. Uh, Liam doesn't have the power of nature. I'm not too sure why they didn't want to yank it back and get the free kill. Duturu lands on a great that's not a Donkey, Donkey. He gets caught. Whoa! Oh, Thunder could not sign up. Finn is taking so much damage here, but they're able to do it. Flicker into Numenor Blast. He makes it out with one HP, and now Evos have to pull back. They gave away the kill. They prioritize trying to get Duturu a little too much. Donkey, the best tank we've ever seen, falling flat with Tuturu, just landing that critical shot, bringing down that Kaja, and my Rex Ringo Keon at least gets one more, and we saw that the last one, wow. what in the world was that damage output coming from that Death Sonata? That was scary. Oh, looks like Vin tried to make a play there, the arrival coming in early by the x -Borg. He has nothing to do topside, therefore he is going down to bot side to hopefully keep it in check. Now, checking every single lane as they go. Chang Er protecting that top side, which means that RRQ will send members in towards the Lord section. Nair already being the first line of defense for Evil's Legends. Slowly getting themselves into it. the H brush. That's going to be Donkey oh. coming in with the Shadow Map. This is the perfect catch for them as they match to actually get them low. But oh! No way! No! Oh, thank God. Oh my God. I never thought he would have made it out of there. Vin should have definitely died. I thought he got super, super lucky at the end there. He was playing that absolutely well, canceling into the Shunpo very, very quickly after the third hit of the Jakundo. But my god, Hora is in, Hora is in a lot of trouble. He's pulled back. He doesn't have the Firaga armor. And Juan can actually Sit. turn this around. He does, He has the Meteor Shower, and there he is. He gets two kills up on the top side. But that's not going to be enough for RRQ to lose their lead because they are still 7k ahead. Well, at least they draw the line between the skills and they needed a Chang'e to be right in front of the Masha. So they found that answer to this solution. Well, well, well I, I definitely can't fix myself for a moment, <laughs> but here comes Luminaire. Uh, just got think that shield up. And oh, Donkey! Shut down. The disrespect! You can't walk up that far. Now Lemon's in trouble. You have to use the black shoes as well as the flicker to get on out of there. Luminaire, very close to dying, forcing out the flicker as well. Vin got pretty close, but Donkey ain't gonna let him go. Wreck as well as one. A great Guardian's bearer coming up. No chemical refinement coming in from Wreck, but it's just not enough distance for him to commit to that fight. Well, Evil's Legends, I can see they are here to take this game. They are here to prove every one of these guys RRQ that they can beat them for the second time coming if they were to come back onto our this upper bracket. Well, there's no more brackets. There's only the grand finals for them to fix it, their eyes on to claim that throw. The uh -oh. Aura once uh -oh. more. Uh -oh. Oh, this, Sin going in. He doesn't oh, win oh. this. He doesn't win this. He forces Ooh, yeah. out the flicker for Sin. He has to turn off his passive or at least hit something for the There he goes. Oh, is there to cut him off. Another kill going on for Evo's Legends. RRQ is starting to crumble. RRQ slowly losing the plot right here. Vin, every single time he goes in for a fight, he will be picked up at least. And Luminaire getting tankier and tankier. And Donkey was just one of the baits right out there, just waiting for that perfect divine judgment. Now that they've already flushed off the members of RRQ, it's their turn to make a move. Here it comes oh. in, with great knock so up in the air. And here it comes the rest of the damage going in for the chase as well. Trying to take down this as Finn takes on to three. And Evo's Legends will be able to take him down for that mega kill. Going in the hands of one. One still looking for more. Tuturu forced away. And three members are out from RRQ. Well played coming in from Evo's Legends here. I don't think anybody realizes that, but One and Aura are really far ahead. They're four and zero. As long as Luminaire blocks Tuturu's death Sonata with that Guardian's Bulwark, he is going to be considered the MVP. We are speaking of MVPs right now, and Evo's Legends seem like they have found one in the forms of Aura as well as One. These tag team. They do not seem to be. That's a perfect combo if you think of it that way. Wait, but it's wait, a wait a minute. Formula. Did Watt just buy a Wind Talker? Yes, he did. Why did he buy a Wind Talker? Wait, what's going on here? It's Hold up. Hold wind up. Talker Chang -er in the oh. Grand Finals. Oh. Let, let's digest this for a little bit. In what scenario should this be brought out? Why? Does he get? Does he get the immediate uh, wind talker uh, 
with Tucker proc off of his auto attacks? Uh, like, what's going on? Like, I can't understand. Donkey. Oh, Donkey, he actually goes in. He gets kicked back with the way of the dragon. Numinous Lord is knocking onto that tier two. He breaks. They trade one for nothing. Thunderbell has Flicker. just been purchased by the Granger. He's going to be huge. Top side, Aura is going to be going down. RQ. He's in a lot of trouble. Finn is making it all happen as the two fights happen at the same time. Sin can't actually get ahead. Luminaire Leo. is trying to block his way. Finn's in trouble. He's taking too much damage. He flickers. He gets hit for the third hit. Luminaire. Oh, Luminaire is able to pull it through. Two for one. Evil's Legends are walking Aura! through. Aura has done it. They're breaking through to the inhibitors. My goodness. Evil's now will break down the inhibitor and Evil's Legends escorting this wave. It's all down to they one. They got it! They got it! it. The Dura is now only down to Sin. They are trying to do oh it. No. This might just be game seven coming in the way. Evil's Legends, they they're bringing this this game and one away to finish things up. We are going in game seven. Evil's oh Legends!